Hey everybody, Angie Woods, Dog Psychology 101. We have a very hot topic today. Uh, should I, should you, euthanize your aggressive dog? So I specialize in aggressive dogs. I tend to work with the dogs that everybody else wants to euthanize. And I can honestly say that it is extremely, extremely rare. I can't tell you when the last time I ever recommended euthanizing a dog. Most dogs are euthanized for behavior problems because the human doesn't know how to fix the relationship. Their knowledge is not there. And if your knowledge is not there, and this doesn't, um, Dog owners, FYI, veterinarians suffer from this. I find that uh, many veterinary behaviorists uh, suffer from this. Um, there is not a drug for aggression. I take a lot of dogs off of Prozac, and I literally ask everyone that comes to me with their dog on Prozac, uh, does it work? And if I were to keep a spreadsheet, I think the actual number would be probably 98 or 99 out of 100 will say they don't really see a marked change in their dog's behavior. Many times they do initially. For the first few days or maybe even a couple of weeks, the dog seems a little more lethargic. But in general, the dog is still anxious. So it's not an appropriate medication for a dog who is suffering from aggression and or anxiety, in my opinion. Occasionally, I will meet a person that says, yes, made all the difference in the world, then by all means, you keep your dog on it. But for, Pete, for the dogs that it's not working on, um, I'm, I'm just not a fan of it. So in most cases, we're not having a brain chemical issue. I'm not saying that dogs don't. I come from veterinary medicine. I understand that things like that can happen. Neurologic things can be accounted for. But it is a relationship problem. Who does your dog think you are? What kind of temperament or doganality does your dog have? If they're a nervous dog, they shouldn't be in charge. They're not meant to be in charge. I call that the middle schooler that pays the mortgage. Dogs need a lot of structure in their lives. It doesn't mean be mean to them at all, but they need to understand what's allowed and what's not allowed. And when you can enforce that and provide that for them and reward the awesome stuff that they do without being crazy and excited, in most cases, sometimes it's okay um, if you're in a playful state, but they need to follow your direction. In a pack environment, they follow the leader of the pack, what that dog does. Do they go and attack something? If I'm going to attack someone, if they're trying to hurt me, you should be helping me. If I am okay with the person, you should also be okay with the person. When you introduce a dog to a pack, within pretty short order, within a few days, they start to take on the traits of the pack and start behaving like the others in the pack. And so decide what your pack should look like and then achieve those behaviors. But really understanding why dogs behave the way that they do, almost all aggression, damn near every case, very rare for it not to be, is based in fear. Protect your dog, advocate for your dog. It's huge. We have a new community coming out called the Good Dog Movement. You can learn all about this and so you know, I'm a dog behaviorist, but if someone asks me what my real job is, what I really do for people is relationship coaching for people and dogs. You need to understand dogs and honor the dog and really understand what it means to be a canine and how they do things. And you need to understand the difference between you and a dog because you're doing things radically different than a dog. So no, not necessarily. You do not need to euthanize your dog. So I'd say you need more knowledge. And just because a trainer or a veterinarian has told you to euthanize your dog does not mean that your dog is a helpless case whatsoever. Um, if you want to look at my behavior center is US Canine, you can go through, look at my Google reviews, go to Facebook, US Canine, look at all of the reviews of all the people that I've helped with an aggressive dog. It is absolutely doable in almost all cases. But I will say on rare occasion, I will cross a dog that normally has some type of neurologic deficit. Something is just not wired right, but it's really rare. I would say one every handful of years would I say that. And everybody sends me the crazy aggressive dogs. It's really the knowledge of the human can help save a dog, but you gotta be willing to go get it. And 
there's only a few places that you can go get it. Most people are obedience-minded, and there's nothing wrong with obedience. I do not beat it up. I love it. It's great tools that you can add on to your relationship, but it does not create your relationship with your dog. You need to understand the psychology of that animal, dog. They don't think like you. They're not people people. All right, so don't kill your dog. All right, come join us.